So today we're going to be looking at an LX425 by Toro. We got a steering issue and I'm about to raise it up. I took the deck off, but before I raise it up, I'm going to, I'm going to open up the hood and we're going to remove the fuel tank so that we can get a top view of what's going on with the steering. So to get that off, you get a couple of bolts. We got one here, one on the other side, and then the fuel line, fuel tank, I should say should pop right off and if we have to pinch off the fuel line and remove it completely we'll do that too all right so this is a 3 8 inch socket that's for that side over there this one over here looks smaller so I think somebody might have replaced some bolts here but we'll get them both And that thing just came out. I'm going to put the bolt back in a hole. And this one's a 5 sixteenths. this out of here. What I'm going to do here is the I'm going to remove this fuel line. I'm going to pinch this off and then remove the fuel line down there so that we can get this whole thing out of the way. I'm going to use the fancy dancy fuel line uh, pliers here, see if that works. All right, we got her. Side. And now let's take a look down inside by the steering column. Alright, so now that we've got the fuel tank out of the way, let's take a look down inside. And not much down there. It doesn't look there's anything I can access from above for steering purposes. So we're going to have to jack this up and uh, take a look from underneath. Well, while we're here though, I can point out to you that there is a safety switch right here. That would be for um, engaging the blade. And then also from here, you can see the safety switch right here. That's for pressing on the brake. Here. So when I press on the brake here, so that's where two of your safety switches are located. All right, let's get this thing up in the air.
right, so with this thing up in the air, let's take a closer look at the steering mechanism. Try to sit you down gently with the tripod here. And I think that's what we're looking at right here. That thing right there. Let's turn the hand, steering wheel and see what happens. <laughs> well, with it up on the air, it steers pretty good, but I think that gear is, is worn. So, looks like it's held in place by just a nut. So, we're going to the impact on there and take that off or um, I guess we if somebody didn't have an impact driver they might be able to just uh, anchor the steering wheel tie the steering wheel so that it doesn't turn but it's only going to turn so far one way anyhow so let's find out what size we need all right of all the goofy sizes that's 11 16 so And this just slid, slid right off. It's a little worn out. See, there's splines inside. And so when it's on here, line up the splines good and tight but we'll get this on order it looks almost like brass but we'll get a new part on order and get it back in place all right so now in addition to that gear that I took off we've got a washer on here And up in here, it appears there's a bushing, and there's a lot of play in that bushing. So, um, I forget how to access that, but I'm gonna guess that that bushing needs to be replaced. Let's take a closer look. All right, so it's been a few days because I had to order the parts, but the parts have come in, and we'll show you what I found here. You take a look. You'll see this is the, the steering shaft. And I can even push that out, but you'll see there's a hex shaped hole there and it's been worn out. So the parts that I ordered right here, there is a new gear and there is a hex shaped bushing that's a part of the kit. So that's worn out and we're going to replace that. So. I think we should be able to pop that out with a screwdriver or something so we'll get on that all right so I was gonna use a screwdriver or something to push it out but check it out it's actually pretty loose so I'm just gonna push on it and there it goes so yeah there's a worn part so we are going to get the new part put in place and uh, get the steering back on this thing all right so we got the new part here and so we're gonna have to just somehow very carefully sneak it in the hole there there's some stuff in the way uh, i think we got her Okay. Yeah. Let 
me see if I can get it from inside. No, I can't. Yeah, let me grab the steering column up inside. seems pretty good but now before I put the, put the gear on I'm gonna make sure that the wheels are relatively straight and then I'm gonna go make sure the steering wheel is straight so pretty good on a tripod let's get the gear on all right if I recall this washer was was on there first Well, I know the washer has to go on there, but the teeth are in the way, so how can I do this? I have to try it again, because if I pull this back carefully, so that the hex stays in place. There we go, that feels good. the new gear like so and the washer before I tighten that down I'm going to take a look at the steering wheel one more time make sure it's still straight no it got a little cockeyed so reach back here Again, let's check the steering wheel. All right, just a smidge more. Is that a smidge? That's good enough for government work. Yes. Get, a, get a tool, tighten that thing up. All right, so we're gonna put the 11 16th socket back on. the steering wheel see what happens no it's actually too tight it turns but it's really tight so I'm gonna back this off a little bit see if that helps any There we go, that's a lot better. Okay, so let's get this thing back on the ground. Hey, I just wanna let you know that uh, when I got that lawn tractor down off the lift 
everything worked great so I just called the owner right away and got it delivered and then when I got home I realized I forgot to take the last video bit of proof that it worked but so I'm just here to tell you that what I, you just saw me fix on that Toro lawn tractor it worked great and the thing is back in service so if you uh, uh, learned something from this today I'm glad that I did uh, the job and uh, thanks for watching